Okay, now in, in this worksheet, they basically want you to be able to differentiate between facts, opinions, uh, hypothesis, theory. So they want you to think as a scientist. So what are facts and opinions? So opinions, are, what, opinions um, they're basically something that you feel, right? So opinions may differ. For example, somebody likes red color, the other person likes uh, pink color. So we all have different choices. We all have different choices of food, for food and for colors and for the clothes that we wear. So this is something that is all upon us. Whereas facts is something that, no, that you know that is proven and that is something that you cannot negate just because you don't feel like accepting it. So over here, they basically, something that is important to notice over here is that they're saying that fact is a statement or observation that has been repeatedly shown to be correct, right? So it has a lot of evidence and evidence basically shows that this statement is true. For example, cow has four legs. This is something that is proven, that is observed and that nobody can negate. Like you cannot say it has five legs just because you feel like saying that, right? So fact is something that's an observation and that you cannot negate just because you don't feel like accepting it. An opinion is what someone believes to be true and often cannot be proved or disproved. So if I like red color, you cannot disapprove that option, right? You cannot disapprove that opinion. If you like pink color, if you like black or blue or whatever color, I cannot disapprove that, right? Now, the other thing to focus over here is that hypothesis is any idea. So you say that this fan is not working maybe because um, it's, uh, it has some problem in the plug, right? The plug has not been fixed properly. So this is an idea. But your experiment basically tries to prove the idea. So you basically begin to test, test the idea. So, um, so when you support your hypothesis with a lot of evidences, so during an experiment, when you're testing your hypothesis, you see whether your hypothesis is right or not. So for example, if you have a lot of evidence um, in support of your hypothesis, then your hypothesis becomes the theory. Right, so it becomes a theory. So do you understand that hypothesis is an idea and any idea that is supported by a lot of evidence is called a theory. Okay, and the other thing to focus on is observation and opinion. I'm going to highlight these as well so you know what is important to note over here. So idea is hypothesis. And when your hypothesis has a lot of evidence to support it, we call it the theory. And this is important. A fact is a statement observation that has repeatedly shown to be correct. An opinion is what someone believes to be true and often cannot be proved or disapproved, right? Um, let's just save it. Clear all drawings. And Okay, now the opinion can be any opinion that is from a layman or the opinion can be an opinion from an expert. For example, a doctor gives an opinion which is then further tested to a different test in order to make it a fact, right? So um, your doctor might look at your symptoms and say that you have, uh, not you, maybe somebody has a heart disease, right? Um, now he's going to prove that by further test, but the person is going to believe that he has, you know, has something like, has a problem like that just because the doctor said that. And he believes in it because doctor is an expert. If some layman is going to say that, the other person will still not believe it, right? Because he knows that, he or she knows that, you know, this person who passed out this comment is um, not an expert. What are differences between a fact and hypothesis? So they're just, this is a simple comprehension where they have basically given you a written piece of information and they're asking what is a fact. So we know that fact is, some, is a statement that has been proved multiple times and uh, has proved to be right multiple times and hypothesis is, some, is just an idea, right? Now, your hypothesis uh, is just an idea and that can be true or that can be uh, false as well, whereas fact is something that is true and that has to be believed. What is the difference between a hypothesis and a theory? So hypothesis, over here is just an idea, whereas theory is something that um, that is supported by a lot of evidences, right? So you, 
for example, we have the atomic. We have a lot of theories for the atomic model nowadays. We focus on the quantum atomic atomic model, right? So that's a theory. And for this, you know, the evidence came from scanning tunneling microscope, um, and the other evidence, and from the other um, techniques as well. So you were able to prove the fact that you know this theory is somewhat correct, right? But theory is something that is again replaceable, right? Because if, for example, we know that. A lot of theories were replaced. Bohr's theory was replaced. Rutherford's theory was replaced, right? So have a look at the um, figure below and answer the following questions. So this person says the most attractive metal is platinum. So well, for him, uh, this can be platinum. For me, it can be gold. For somebody else, it can be diamond, right? So it is something that you feel. Gold is the most beautiful metal for him. It might be gold. For me, it might be silver. For the other person, it might be another metal. Silver makes the prettiest jewelry for her. It might be silver, but the other person it might be diamond or it can be gold, right? So give why, explain why these statements are all opinions because they're all just based upon your feeling and what you feel like about this particular thing, right? So it may vary from one person and person to another. State two factors about metals and explain why they are facts. So, you know, uh, look for the facts, something that uh, cannot be proved wrong, right? So for example, um, metal is a good conductor of electricity. This is a fact, right? You cannot say no metal is not a good conductor of electricity just because I don't like metal, right? And um, metal is a good conductor of heat. So that's again true. Metal uh, is ductile. So I can come up with different facts, right? That nobody can then prove wrong. Why might someone's opinion about a car be wrong? Well, you know, if that someone is, um, is, is a layman that of course that opinion can be wrong. Sorry, I did not write down the answers for any of these. Um, I think I need to write down the answer so that if somebody does not want to watch the video, he basically knows what's the answer. What are the differences between a fact and opinion? So fact is a statement that has been proved that has been proved right multiple times. Take it. Whereas if you talk about hypothesis, so hypothesis is just an idea and an idea can be of course wrong as well. What is the difference between a hypothesis and theory? Hypothesis we all know is an idea, whereas um, theory is so theory um, is initially it's basically initially a hypothesis which is then proved or which is then supported by a lot of evidence. Sorry. And becomes and becomes a theory. Okay. So when when basically a hypothesis is uh, supported by a lot of evidences, then it basically becomes a theory. So when it is okay now. Let's just now just clear the drawings. Explain why these statements are all, all opinions. Based on one's feelings, that is why this is basically, so that's why it is basically someone's opinion. Um, it may vary from one person to another. It may vary from one person to another. State two factors about metals and explain why they are facts. Metal is a good conductor of electricity 
last eight. So this is this is um, a fat, or um, it is ductile, or it is malleable, right? So they're all right. Why might someone's opinion about a car be wrong? So over here, the word someone basically implies that this can be a layman as well, right? Somebody who is just, um, for example, right now, um, if you know nothing about a vaccine, then do you think that your opinion really matters? No. If you don't study what exactly is a vaccine and uh, what are the clinical and preclinical trials, uh, then you know, you when you say something, the people are not going to value what you say. But when an expert says it, when a scientist says that, the people are going to believe him or her because of the fact that, you know, um, she uh, or he is basically adept at, the at, at, at this profession and he basically knows or she basically knows okay, what's the process and how is a vaccine made, right? So over here, why might someone's opinion about car be wrong? Uh, based on one's feeling, based on one's feeling plus not um, not master has has no expertise in that particular subject plus um, has no prior knowledge or hasn't mastered basically right? So you basically need to master a concept. Why might, uh, who might give an expert opinion on motor cars? So we know that, you know, engineers who basically make the motor cars can, of course, give you that. And then, of course, you write that how, how are they able to do that? Because, you know, they are the makers. So, you know, when once you make it, you exactly know what are the intricate details. They know the intricate details of of an object yeah of the mo of the motor car details of of the working of motor car cars and then can explain well right so that is why the opinions basically matter